that's actually like help solve murder cases. You know that? Really? Yeah, I thought yeah. it wasn't true though. <laughs> no, I thought it no, wasn't true. Because a lot of people like when they're using Randonautica, there, there's like theories that it's actually controlled by like the dark web. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah. It'll lead you to weird places, right? Mm-hmm. So I think um, there was one case in uh, Seattle, right? And there was these kids that they were like, oh, I'm, I'm a geocache. I'm going to do this and something cool, right? Yeah. Let's find something cool. For everyone that doesn't know geocaching, you get a random location. You go to that location and I guess you you find an object. It's like a it's like a souvenir box. Yeah. And then it, it's called a cache. Exactly. And pretty much you like sign your name or they leave some objects in it. Yeah. And Carlos does it hella time. Yeah, so, I do all the time. So, it's fun as fuck, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's just fun. So there's a case in Seattle where a bunch of these kids wanted to do it, right? Mm-hmm. So they put in the, the, they generated the coordinates and this coordinate sent them, um, I think it was to a random like beach like a like a you know um in LA where it's like uh that that homeless beach yeah uh what would you call that the one that Andre took us to Venice Beach yeah Venice Beach it was like a Venice Beach type vibe in Seattle mm-hmm. and then the coordinate uh when they were in the video they saw like on the rocks there was um a suitcase mm-hmm. and that suitcase was like that was the coordinate that they were looking for it sent them exactly to that suitcase right yeah so the kids go up and like, okay, I think this is our item, right? Mm-hmm. So they open it carefully. And-